everybody, welcome back to another episode of In the Kitchen with Father Larry. Today I'm going to show you what is one of my favorite all-time recipes. It is dead easy and the results are just unbelievable. You know how when you make bread at home, it never quite has that crust that you really get from like a piece of beautifully baked artisan bread where it's got a thin, crunchy crust on the outside and inside is kind of stretchy with a lot of holes in it, like a really nice piece of artisan bread. Well, there is a way you can do that at home and it is so easy, you are not gonna believe it. This is the easiest loaf of bread you'll ever make and probably the best results you'll ever get. Uh, this is based on a recipe from Mark Bittman that was published in the New York Times a few years ago. I've made it lots of times and it's just an unbelievably good, perfect loaf of artisan bread. The only real piece of specialized equipment you need is a Dutch oven or a big solid casserole with a lid that can go in the oven. But other than that, it's super easy. So let's take a look at an amazing loaf of artisan bread. Okay, watch how easy this is. I am starting with bread flour. If all you have is, all, is uh, all purpose flour, that is perfectly okay too. And we're gonna go in with three cups of bread flour. Okay, that's going to get about a uh, half teaspoon of salt. And believe it or not, only about an eighth of a teaspoon of dry yeast. That is not very much, but it's going to do what we want. Okay, I'm going to mix that around with a whisk so the Dry yeast gets distributed throughout. And then we want one and five eighths cups of water. You know, if you go up to one and three quarters, I don't think anybody's gonna complain. So that gets poured in. And where's my spoon? Here we go. And I'm just gonna stir that a little bit. You want to get it so it's just basically mixed together. Okay, that looks good. It's kind of a wet, gloppy mess. And believe it or not, that is what you want. Now I'm going to put a loose fitting lid on that. And it is going to sit on the counter out here in about a 70, 71 degree kitchen. And it's just going to sit here and ferment for between 10 and 18 hours. So we'll check in again on this uh, once it's done fermenting on the countertop. Okay, it's tomorrow. Uh, my bread has been rising for almost 24 hours, mostly on a countertop. Spend a little bit of time in a uh, proofing drawer just to give it a little extra warmth as it was doing its last bit of fermenting overnight. And that means we're ready for the next step. I'm gonna turn the bread out, give it just a couple of turns, not really kneading it, but just kind of forming a loaf. Then it's gonna sit for a little bit uh, while we are preheating the oven and the Dutch oven and getting ready for our bake. So let's do that bit now. All right. Oh yeah, you can see that that has easily doubled in size. It is still a really wet dough. That's one of the characteristics of this kind of bread. So I'm gonna put quite a bit of flour down on the countertop as I turn it out. Oh, that is really wet dough. It's almost a batter. Okay. Yeah, more flour over the top. Lots of flour. Okay, I'll give it just a couple of quick turns. If 
feels great. Okay, get all that off of my fingers. And then I'm gonna cover this with some plastic wrap and let it sit before I put it into a tea towel for its final rise. Now, after about 15 minutes of rest on the countertop, you can see that that's absorbed pretty much all the flour that I'd sprinkled on top of it. This is a really wet dough. So our next step is to put it into a tea towel, which is a plain cotton towel, not a terry cloth towel, and give it a generous sprinkling of flour, and then we will uh, leave it on the countertop, cover with the towel for its final rise. So first thing, let's kind of scoop it into a uh, loaf shape. Make sure it's got plenty of flour on the outside. Towel well floured. And cover it up. Okay, now if everything goes to plan, that should be about ready to go in about two hours. Okay, so the Dutch oven is in the regular oven. It's at a nice hot 450 degrees, and it's going to cook there for half an hour. Now, the reason you're using a preheated, heavy closed container like a Dutch oven or a, a casserole dish or a heavy cast iron thing with a lid is what's going to happen is when that wet dough hits that hot surface, it's immediately going to release a lot of steam. And that steam is the secret to getting a really nice crust on the outside of that bread. So that's the secret of this particular bread technique, is that closed container is gonna, what's going to really generate a beautiful crust on that loaf. Now, a word about those containers that you put in that 450 degree oven, that's really hot. Make sure that whatever you're putting in there is rated for that high temperature, especially the lid that goes on the top. Uh, some Dutch ovens and, and lids, things like that, have either a plastic lid or something that's not rated for that high heat. The one I'm using is a Dutch oven made by Lodge, who make all the wonderful cast iron stuff. So it should be fine in that high temperature. Uh, we've done this before, so we'll see how it looks in half an hour after it's done that initial bake. And the bread is out of the oven, and I have checked its temperature with my handy thermometer, which tells me that it's at 213 degrees inside, which is perfect. Anything above 212 means it's done. Now, this is still seriously hot, so I'm going to put on some heat, heat mitts. There you get a good look at that loaf. I'm going to take it out of the pan that is quite beautiful i'm going to brush some of that excess flour off of it and let it cool and then we are going to open it up and give it a taste we've had a little bit of cooling time so let's open this loaf up and see what we've got Oh, listen to that crack. That is beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is absolutely lovely. Lots of big, chewy holes, tight, crusty loaf on the outside. That's just what we want. Very good. All right, a little bit of butter, and we should be ready to go. Okay, here is the world's easiest loaf of bread, probably the best loaf you've ever baked. The recipe is dead simple. You can get it in the uh, comments on my YouTube site or on my uh, website, corporalworks.com. 
Uh, if you enjoy these videos, then click the uh, little button that says subscribe in the little circle and uh, we'll see you around. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen. Oh yeah, oh, that's really good.